In this video, I'm going to make the next two monsters. We did a up down monster last class, and now I want to do a left right one. A quick shortcut is if I right click, I can go duplicate, and then I can make a copy uh, of the left the up down monster and make object enemy um, left and right. I'll of course change the sprite to the left and right. In the create event, I'll tell it not to go up and down, but rather to go left and right at a speed of 32 over six. And when I collide with a wall, what I'm going to do is not reverse vertical, but reverse horizontal. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, another object called, um, and I'll duplicate that one, called enemy all. And object enemy all is going to move in all directions. And so what I'm going to do is in the create event, I'm going to move up and down and left and right. When I collide with a wall though, I need to do a few different things. I don't want to just reverse vertical or reverse horizontal. I don't know what direction I'm going. So here's what we're going to do. What I'm going to do is imagine that um, if I had a, uh, I'll insert a picture of um, the monster. And if, The monster is um, if this is my monster and I'm moving the monster is going left and right here. If I'm hitting a wall, what I want to do is I want it to turn and turn right. So what I do is in Game Maker, I collide with a wall. To turn, I go direction plus 90 degrees. And I'll keep the same speed of 32 over six for my speed. So direction plus 90 is gonna turn it, whatever direction I'm going, I'm gonna add 90 to it. Then what I wanna do is I want to go to the control tab and I'm going to check, is there any object, the X coordinate is going to take whatever horizontal speed I have. So if I'm moving with horizontal speed, it'll check relative to where I am. If my speed is four, it'll check four pixels to the right. If my H speed is negative four, my horizontal speed is negative four, it'll check uh, four pixels to the left but I don't know if I'm going up or down or left and right. So I'm going to then add V speed. So if the monster is going up and down, it's not going to H speed will be zero and it will just use the V speed value to check. So it's going to check to see if there's anything in the way based on the speed that I'm going. And if that's true, exit the event. But just like I said there, if I'm going and I hit a wall, maybe I'm here and I went this way. I was going and I hit the wall. Well, I want to turn around and go 90 degrees the other way, which would be a left-hand turn. So to do that, I'm going to basically duplicate all these. But what I'm going to do is say, oh, this time I want to add 180 to the direction. So my right turn would become a left-hand turn. And if free relative, I'll put that. Notice the direction I set is not relative because I'm using my variable called direction. Um, anyhow, if there still is a problem, then I know what I need to do is just turn around. To turn around, I just say I've already gone 90 degrees to make a right-hand turn. Then I did 180 more to do a left-hand turn and it still wasn't free. So I'm just gonna say, let's take whatever direction we're going and subtract 90 because that will um, completely turn us back from the way we came. And so I don't even have to check if it's free because I know that works. One other thing I would like to do here is in the step event, 
I want to randomly, um, so I'm going to uh, first make sure that I'm in a grid because I don't want it to get stuck on a wall. And then what I'm going to do is if I'm in a grid, what I want to do is I'll roll the dice and a one out of eight chance, I'll change my movement to a different movement. So randomly, one out of eight, every time I'm in a, a grid, one out of eight times, I'll randomly uh, choose. So I might continue going the same direction or I might go in a different direction. Let's add the, to the room and just test it to make sure it works. So here's my up down monster. I'm gonna add enemy um, left and right. I'll put a left and right over here and here, let's say, maybe one down here. And finally an all enemy, I'll stick a couple of them on here and I'll stick more enemies than I probably would like to have just because I'm gonna test the game out. So I'll stick quite a few. Um, finally, the last thing I need to do is our person needs to have a problem. Just like this one, we're gonna duplicate that event for a collision with the all enemy. And we'll also do uh, the same thing for a collision with the uh, left and right enemy. So if the player collides with any of the enemies, we'll restart the game for now. Later on, we'll just lose a life and restart the room, but for now we'll do that. So let's test it out and just see if the two new enemies work. We'll take a look at the white one, which is the left and right, and we'll take a look at the all one, uh, which will go all directions. And you can see I'm getting hit here, but I'll hide out here and just watch the enemies, and the enemies seem to be going just fine. Oh, but they did still track me down.